Hey guys, Terrific Richard Lee here today. We're back with Umbrella Academy episode two. So episode one I did last week it was a very a decent start to a series. I did enjoy it. I uh, didn't. I uh, did. Someone did mention in the comments that the one of the powers for the crazy guy is uh, he can see dead people, which makes a lot more sense why he's got uh, this sort of attitude he has as like being able to talk to dead people would send you insane. I didn't actually realize that was his power, but I do know that now, which is pretty interesting. It makes it a lot more understandable the way he acts. Yep, yeah, this is pretty neat. Um, we got a bit of time traveling. But that would have mainly got introduced to all the characters. I thought we started start to the series. Uh, we got to know more, a bit more about the father. We don't know what. He seems like a bit of a cunt, really, but uh, I'm guessing we're going to learn more about him. He seems like he was doing everything for himself, and then some of the children got attached. I like how each of the children, because they skipped so much time, each of the children got... Yeah, they all have their own, like, connections and beef, so they all know each other. They've all got uh, the beefs with each other, so it makes it quite in a dynamic with the characters' um, relationships. And so they've all got their pre beef, beefs, and we know we get to slowly learn what's happened between them to make them so distant from each other, which to me is pretty cool and interesting. But apart from that, I'm ready to just get into this episode. So feel free to like and subscribe, guys. I'm doing this, this Cobra Kai, Stranger Things, and some anime. So if you want to check that content out, feel free. But let's get into episode two of this because I'm interested to see where it goes. Right, they've always got along very well. I guess that's the muscly guy in the model. He's a big cliffhanger. I like little details he had with him, just like get to know a little personalities from it. I have a question akin to descending blindly into the depths of a freezing water and reappearing as an acorn. To be fair, he has a fair point. Look where led you, you're stuck. And that's where he fucks up. <laughs> I'm just seeing that as a kid. I'm always worried when a show does time travel because it can always go horribly wrong. Oh, we can't actually use his power. I wonder how he gets back then. I said, so he does get trapped there. Ha! <laughs> Talk about fucking up. You should just listen to him. You would shit yourself. Mate, he's got to survive there as a kid. I feel like they're being as vague as possible so they don't fuck up with the time travel. No offense, you're not a very good policeman. You thought, you thought they all killed themselves. So I had to get the tracking device on the, on the kid. Next to me. <laughs> Monkey sticking for shit, mate. <laughs> I wonder who took them. I don't know that's the most private way of accusing someone. Did man just throw all that stuff away without reading it? Is he a fucking idiot? Why? Why down your pants? He's a very bizarre person. <laughs> I love the guy's playing it smart, the monkey. So that's how you get people to bring it back. You don't accuse him, so you don't get upset, but you just imply that if they shame back up. That's why Ellen Page plays the same character in every single thing she's in. That's just always the same sort of character, the same sort of personality. I'm mm -hmm. sure he wouldn't give you acting like that, I'm sorry. What did he expect to accomplish there? Yeah, he could probably sneak in. He could have sneaked in. 
So does he time travel in one timeline? So he kind of affects stuff that happens. That's dangerous with time travel. It's normally easier if to do time travel, but when he does go into another time, it just 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 does another timeline. Oh, quite deep there. He looks upset. He's so buff, I can't get past it. You gotta tell me how you did the London job in '66. Beautiful work, really. I swear to Christ, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. I love how they just jump on this guy. It's always the poor mechanic. Someone was just trying to enjoy his life. You can tell these are uh, great people. Up for no mayo. Does number five seem like he'd be a whimper to you? Patrick. Ellen Page be nosy. I love it when people are angry. You've never even been in a Ooh. factory, so you know what it's like to have someone with problems on any level. I don't know why she just went full attack mode on her. <laughs> that was a bit unnecessary. Like I said to your son earlier, any information. That wouldn't work, I'm sorry. Wow, yeah, he just figured that out. Class is having a moment though. For fuck's sake. Quiet. Don't stop. Keep going. Hey, 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 what about my money? You've been haggled, mate. You've been haggled. God, Ellen's such a boring character. <laughs> Maybe she plays some sort of role. It's going to be the government's. This man's still going to be in his room. Or he's going to be trashed when he walks in. Oh, his tape's been snapped. What you have to talk him out? What the hell? Yeah, well, I shouldn't have to put my initials. That's a fair point. For anyone else in this family. Why'd you wait all that time just to be told to go home? <laughs> What role is this guy meant to play? So I'll see you next week when you go. Is he literally there just to give her a motivation to seek our family? I won't be surprised. You always came up here as a kid. Can we see too? Let's see the TV screen. Welcome. 
she seen the screen when he died. Well, I wanted to see. Well, oh, I hate when the shows do that. <laughs> Just let me see the tape. It's just like to have an action scene at the edge of every episode. Why don't you just teleport? <laughs> Fucking payday over here. I feel like I'm gonna have to mute these guys because of the music. Why are you teleporting about? Why does he care about the mannequin so much? There we go. <laughs> Why did they pick this as their music choice? <laughs> Should you be thinking about this, mate? Wait, he's already dead. He's already killed her. <laughs> Fucking wrecked. These guys were shit. Just listen to her, mate. Fucking hell. Shut up for a sec. Thank you. That was on the tape. Oh, we're actually going to see this episode, thank God. Oh, I was not going to show the fucking tapes this episode, is it? It's going to be next episode. Oh, is it the per... Beautiful. Is the mannequins... Oh, I if it's dead there. Well, I've got a feeling I'm guessing the mannequin was someone he spent time like the the uh, coconut on uh, Castaway. Is that going to be the first one he was there with for 30 years? <laughs> they all died very close together. Yeah, I'm guessing his weird obsession with the mannequin. mannequin if it was, I guess it depend on how long he was alone in the... Uh, that world, that bit of the world for when it was to the shitter, which was for a while, I guess it was like, sort of, we'll, we'll, you know, it was the same sort of thing what happened in Castaway, latched onto an object, you need to socialise to, who knows, and he also jumped back to the past, I'm guessing, with the whole, like, people looking for him being in the crime in 1938, with uh, a bit of a slow episode, I felt like I was very, very slow, and again, I don't really care about Aaron Page's character, and she's got a lot of screen time. I just feel like she's the same character every show, and they're always very boring characters. To be fair, I like, I like the follow number five story. It's probably the most interesting, just because he knows the most. And Diego's pretty cool, along with uh, Luther's just your average Joe at the moment. I feel like he needs to do a bit more, but I'm interested to see what he's going to be like. Just a very slow building episode. Uh, I feel like the, end, the, end, the last 20 minutes or last 10 minutes made up for most of the episode. I felt like the rest of the episode was a bit weaker, especially compared to the last episode. Uh, but yeah, no, they're definitely, like, I really enjoyed the last 10 minutes. I feel like it was a bit slow after that. But apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the reaction. I will hopefully see you next week. Peace.